Hey guys, hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm gonna to try to straighten up the camera just a hair and talk to y'all today about a damn designs that's still in my collection. It is the old school yokai. It is an American Tanto knife. Uh, damn designs put out. I probably picked this up in my collection nearly two years ago. It is black titanium with carbon fiber inlay and S35VN. Whoops, caught the blade on my sleeve. American Tonto, very, very defined Tonto here. Deep hollow grind, flat on the front. Super, super slicey, super cute Tonto tip and a splinter digger at the end. It's also got the spoon up at the top of the blade, which is a nice crown spine. Pretty low to thin blade stock, but that finger choil, or that poon if you want to call it, just gives you a perfect place to rest your thumb when you get a full four finger grip on what I would consider to be a medium sized knife. So this knife, as you can tell, with my medium to large size hand, I can get a full four finger grip. It does have a titanium milled pocket clip that goes in and out of pocket quite easily, but I do feel it. I haven't done a lot of extended cuts with this knife, but I can imagine that that clip would be a little bit of a hot spot. Um, again, I didn't buy this knife to do a lot of hard cutting. I bought it really because I was getting into some Dan Designs knives. I've had all their budget line come through the collection and out of the collection. Um, but these older knives, these S35 VN knives, um, to me, they just had a very unique look, and that's kind of what attracted me to the knife. Um, I don't have a lot of Tontos in my collection, and I did think this one was super cool. Um, it's a great knife. Again, very slicey. Let me see if I've got the handy coupon book here close. You can tell that's not super thin blade stock, but it is super slicey. So let's do a couple of quick size comparisons to the Dam Designs Yoki or Yokai. Let's take a look at it next to the Cold Steel Formax. It's going to be smaller than the 4MAX. And let's check it out next to the Civivi Baby Banter. It's going to come in bigger than the Baby Banter. Let's see how it comes in next to our Bitch Made Bug Out. Guys, it's right about the same length as the bench made bug out there. So that gives you a good idea. That means it's going to be a good bit smaller than the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. But I'd say about bench made bug out length, a little bit wider. When we go and we actually look at the build of the knife, it is just two slabs of titanium held together with standoffs. A little bit thicker than the bug out the blade stocks not a ton thicker but it does have that compound grind as opposed to that tall flat but the damn designs yokai I think when this thing hit the market retail on it was somewhere around $220 when I picked this up they were on sale they didn't have a whole lot of the uh, older school damn designs left I think I picked up this and the Wraith. Now I think I sold the Wraith to one of our buddies on Instagram. But I've really enjoyed this knife. The access to the, uh, the I guess you'd call it a bolster lock or the concealed frame lock is really easy to get to. It's uh, very drop shutty. Even though I'm horizontal, this knife has nice hydraulics. I also like the way that it looks closed. I think the blade looks pretty sexy in that handle. I think it's, uh, again, just a sharp knife, guys. No pun intended. 
but I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. I appreciate any time you watch one of my overviews about a knife that's in my collection and how I feel about it. I really appreciate it when you look out for the guy or gal to your left, look out for the guy or gal to your right, and just look out for each other, guys. I love you all. Move forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. Till we meet again, peace.